With immense rise in cost of living, we all look for ideas on how to save money, energy bills and also on shopping ideas to what we can cook at home with fresh produce which will not only help in saving up our bills but will also help us eat healthy food for a healthy living and a sustainable living. So I am making 10 different varieties of food that do not require to be cooked at all. Um, so for which I have used 60% of Greek style yogurt uh, from a pot that I want to separate the whey. So using a sieve in a pot, I set it back in the refrigerator and start working on other elements. I am using a milk chocolate bar uh, which is meant for baking. Chocolate which will melt down using proper hot sunlight. So if you are blessed with good amount of heat then you can use natural light to melt. There are so many dishes, recipes that we can make using natural sunlight uh, that I'm just waiting for good summer days in a row. I'm using two slices of wholemeal rustic bloomer. You can use any bread of your choice. Uh, this loaf is from Aldi and we love the taste. I take off the crust and using a rolling pin to flattening it down. And then I apply peanut butter. I'm trying my best to include the amount, the cost that I have used for every product uh, to know how much I've spent and at the end of the cooking I will know the total bill as well. Um, I roll up the bread slices and cut them at a distance. These make a perfect finger food for birthday parties or for gatherings at home. The day I was shooting, the sun hardly showed up, so I did use 30 seconds of the microwave uh, to melt the chocolate. I dip each roll into the chocolate melt, coating it well from all sides as well. And then I place them on a baking sheet, in which way it will be easy to lift up once the chocolate hardens up. I sprinkle in the desiccated coconut. If you wish, you can use crushed nuts as well instead. I'm using two large oranges that I have cut in thick circles at the center and then take off the skin. With the remaining sides, I have cut them into large chunks. Squeezing in fresh lime, grating nutmeg and then I drizzle in the remaining chocolate all over in horizontal lines and then vertical lines. orange chunks I sprinkle in salt, fresh lime, chili flakes and a few pomegranates. I also add in a few pumpkin seeds. With lots of finger food on mind it's important to have a few main dishes as well. Um, now for the mains here I have a pack of couscous. I'm measuring two small cups for four of us which will be plenty. I add in a hot boiling water for the grains to fluff up. Um, it will take around 10 minutes time so I quickly make a drink with handful of mint leaves, half a jug of ginger ale, half a jug of apple juice, a teaspoon of brown sugar and half a fresh lime. This is a non-alcoholic drink with a mixture of fruit juices that we often take in restaurants as a Nojito mocktail. The couscous is now ready. I add in one fourth tin of ready to use chickpeas which is chana. Um, I also add in one fourth of cucumber uh, chunks and one tomato that I have cut in large cubes. Two tablespoons of pomegranate, handful of meaty leaves. Now for the dressing I add in a tablespoon of olive oil, salt, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, two teaspoons of honey, half a fresh lime. I also used um, small chunks of fresh orange which will add in um, great flavor and I will add the dressing once we are ready to eat. Uh, 
Now using the rest of the chana, um, six plum tomatoes, one fourth of cucumber, half a fresh lime, salt to taste, a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of chaat masala and half a teaspoon of parsley. I use shooter glasses to fill up this chana chaat masala, uh, making it look very attractive and the want to have it. Um, all the dishes that I'm showing for today include no fire, no flame to cook any of them, in which way you will not get tired at all and also make it perfect for Diwali gatherings and potlucks as well. I have fenugreek seeds that are sprouted and are ready to eat. Um, I'm going to link up the video on how you can get the sprouts using fenugreek seeds. I have a tablespoon of them. I add in very little of lime, salt and cucumber. It's a very healthy salad that I often eat almost all days during summer months and also winters as well. I have a handful of fresh parsley that I have finely chopped and now using the remaining one fourth of the Greek style yogurt pot with a teaspoon of chaat masala, very little of cream chili paste. This is going to be a dip with tortilla crisps, carrot sticks and rye vita. Uh, with the whey now separated, I have got the hung curd. I'm going to use the whey for making chapatis tomorrow. I add in around three tablespoons of icing sugar and a pinch of cinnamon powder that I scoop uh, two layers in the shooter glasses and then I add in a layer a teaspoon of pomegranate seeds at the center and then fill up the remaining yogurt mix and then uh, topping it up with pomegranate seeds as a layer again tempting to see and very tasty to eat. And then the last dish is another main course using wholemeal rustic bloomer to make sandwiches. I apply a layer of spread, tomato ketchup, cucumber slices, tomato slices, fenugreek leaves, uh, mente soppo. Uh, if you have palak leaves, then yes, you can add in palak leaves, which is spinach. I also add in a slice of cheese. Girls are at home uh, with Easter holidays now and are very happy with the spread of food on the table. It's like a party at home today and the best part is I wasn't strained at all uh, yet managing to make different elements ready using um, almost the same ingredients uh, at a very low budget on hand. I shall try my best to create a series for a sustainable living, budget friendly menu ideas, saving up electricity bill and shopping bills too. Um, so here on the table we have a budget friendly picnic party food ideas sufficient for the family of four people at a cost of 10 pounds around 10 pounds um, no gas being used at all for cooking and also uh, most of the items cooked are healthy so I'm really happy about it and I would love to work on a series with the same topic making it super useful for us and for you all um, creating a sustainable living with good home cooked food. Thank you so much for watching this video.